Ice Age Continental Drift. Alright, this is coming from an Ice Age fan. I love the other... I really love the other uh, Ice Age movies. I mean, they're not perfect, but hey, they're, they're pretty good. But, um, Ice Age Continental Drift, I liked this one. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Um, for some, like, it really doesn't, though, like any other 20th Century Fox movie, all it really takes is a, it, like, ugh, it just wants, ugh, not wants, it just uses, like, slapstick jokes just for the, the, uh, the, uh, for the kids, but, you know, it was actually pretty enjoyable, I mean, not all of it, but, there's parts where it makes me laugh, but there's just parts where it makes me smile. I mean, it's just, I mean, a lot, I mean, the fact that they had a, a, they, like, they had a fan, the mammoths had a family, well, they did have a family at first, really, but, I mean, they had a little, they had a daughter, but, well, yeah. And yeah, it is. It was mentioned in the first, in the third movie. But it was like at the last second. But you know, the story. Even if they, the story could, would have been done good without the about the without the uh, daughter because she wasn't really that likable of a character. I mean, she wasn't. Who, I mean, she did, she wasn't hateable, she was just, she was like, um, 6 out of 10 on the, on the character meter. She was okay, I mean, I didn't hate her, I didn't like, I didn't like her, I just thought she was okay, I mean. Though, though the movie would have been, the movie wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been better, but wouldn't have changed much without her. So, I mean, if they didn't have this, her, she would, it wouldn't really affect the movie that much. And, uh, sometimes it just seems forced. Okay, I'm gonna bring up another movie. I usually don't do this, but, well, actually, I might do this a couple times, but, um, I'm gonna compare a movie where, like, um, like, the new character with, uh, Diego, I think his name's Diego, but, uh, Diego gets, like, a love interest. Oh, boy! Oh! I'm, am I going to fall in love with her? What the heck, dude? Hey, what are you... Okay, this is San Diego, and this is... Not San Diego. This is Diego. This is directors. Am I going to get love? What do you think? Yay! Um, but, uh... But, um... Seriously, she's so... She is so... Bland. She was... Just... Shortest back story ever. One of the shortest back stories I've heard. She was saved by the, this, the villain. We'll get to him later, but... What did you... I have no love in... I have no love interest in you. You... I saved your life. You have a point there. I love you. Thank, thank you. But... Uh, other than... But she just changes to the good side like... I don't know. That. I mean, okay, now I'm going to compare it to The Hobbit, where, um, Frodo, like, Frodo, he, it takes the full movie to convince, to, the full movie to convince him that he, to, that he's, that he's required for the adventure. Yeah, that's a whole movie. This love interest, what, five seconds, that's it. No, no development, no nothing. I mean... I do like the fact that she doesn't go with the crew like that, like, I don't know, that, I mean, I mean, she actually goes to the, with the bad side, which, again, we'll get back, we'll get to them later, um, but, you know, you know, hit or miss, mostly miss, but, um, okay, bringing, okay, I'm gonna go all over the place, I mean, that's kind of my style of review, but I'm sorry for that. But back to the uh, family. Um, Sid having a family, again, the movie would have been fine without it. It's only mentioned in the, it, they mentioned it in the trailer, and yet they, they, they only take advantage of the grandmother. Which is, which is funny. Who, who's funny, by the way, but. 
cliche. But the movie, again, the movie could have been fine without the family. I mean, Sid's family, I'm sorry. Sid's family. I'm sorry, but, um... I mean, I would have been fine if it was just the grandmother, that's all. Oh, nothing too special. But... I gotta... Um... But... It's not... I mean... I don't like this movie as much as the other movies because, one, there's a little... It aims a little bit more to the kids this time. I mean, they were all aimed for kids, but this one is, like, the most kiddiest. Um... Two... Two, it doesn't have that much of a charm to it. I mean... The Scrappy jokes. Oh, I mean, Scrappy as in the character. This... I mean, they took advantage of the first three films. This one just freaking forces it. <clears throat> okay, like Pan like Pangea, like him breaking Pangea, he's like spinning on the core. Spoilers, by the way. And he sinks like his own, a, a, like a scrap version of Atlantis. They call it Scrap Atlantis. But, uh, really... It's, what? Scrap Atlantis? And, like, he sinks it because there's a cork, which is an acorn, by the way. So, yeah, it's kind of funny about why it's an, why the cork's an acorn, but the whole place is, like, full of scraps. But, <laughs> yeah, that's just... This one's... It's just... For, the joke seems that... Some of the jokes seem forced at the time, like saying, Laugh! Laugh! Sorry. Um, but... Yeah, the... All I'm just saying is, this problem... The problem with this one is that it's forced. It doesn't take time with the jokes. It doesn't really... I mean, what t doesn't take time with some of the jokes. Some of the jokes are actually pretty... Are hilarious, but... I mean, it didn't make me go, ha, 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 uh, but, like, it didn't make me go like that, it made me giggle, it made me smile, it made me facepalm sometimes, but, alright, what do I, what's pretty good about the movie, um, the villain, <laughs> he's actually pretty, he's cliche, but he's kind of more for the comedy, and the voice work by, done by, I don't know his name, so I'm gonna do another, do another work from his, uh, name. So, um, Miles Finch. You know, the little person from Elf. No offense to you little people out there, but... Anyways, um... He did pretty good on, on that. He did... No, no, nothing character-wise, but joke-wise, it was actually pretty funny. Anything else? Alright, I guess not, but thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, I'm not begging for a like, but if you do, or a favorite, thank you, bye. I'm never going to do that like and favorite thing ever again, by the way, because it makes me look like a jerk. By the way, there's a Braveheart joke in it.